First of all, I'm going to talk about Mr. Easy. So we all know Mr. Easy has not been singing for a very long time right now. He has been into another different thing apart from music. So he came out recently and he was like, he's going to use you. He didn't give us the name of the producer, but he said he's going to use you. Okay, let me just read. He said, Mr. Easy recently took to his social media to voice his frustration over an alleged breach of contract by an unnamed music producer so according to mr easy he had paid the producer a sum of five thousand dollars to create a song that was supposed to be included in his forthcoming album the evil genius so yeah so i think after the money was being paid the producer didn't go according to their contract according to their plan according to what they discussed he went out of the contract and I think he wasn't even picking his call or anything. He just like posted him, yes. He just he goes stam, yeah. I think that's the right word to use. So he has come out to speak. He has come out to pour, pour out his frustration. And it was like he's going to sue that producer. So let me say he said, There is a producer I paid five thousand dollars to produce a song that was meant to be on my album, and he never sent the scene. Laugh out loud. I hope that 5K changed his life. The evil genius. But the day I get bored, I will spend... Hmm, I will spend 100K to sue your ass, he posted. This is Mr. Easy we are talking about. Odetola oh. in law. Please, so that producer, wherever you are, please come out and go according to your contract and go according to what you guys have discussed because... This one, he has come out to say it. The next thing will be action. And when he puts it into action, nobody should say, Mr. Easy is this one, Mr. Easy. Now he's begging. Now he's the one begging. He's the one talking. He's the one calling on you. And you are giving deaf ears. As you say, you know, they hear. If he come out, do something, no verse. Nobody should even talk. Because now he's talking. Nobody's saying anything. So producer, wherever you are, he didn't even, thank God, he didn't give us your name. Like by now, you, your name would have, would have been all over social media. Producer, wherever you are, please come out and go to him and do what you are supposed to do. Go according to plan and go according to what you guys have discussed. Okay, for those of us who don't know the meaning of Steam, Steam refers to stereo recordings obtained from the mix of individual tracks such as vocals, drum, and bass. So, yes, this was what he was supposed to to, to send to him. And I don't know what are the money just shook him for. I know what I know if he talk again or what. I don't just understand. Money is the root of all evil. So, please, producer, wherever you are, don't let this money destroy you. Come out and do the right thing. Okay, moving on to our next story. Ghanaian musician and radio personality Black Rasta has questioned the credibility of Vice President Dr. Maud Bamiya after he bid to become the, black, the flag bearer of the new patriotic party, MPP. He succeeded now. So, according to him, Dr. Bamiya appealed to hear the plights of the people during his seven years reign in government as vice president. And it's true. Say, that time you were coming, you said, women are suffering. You know, now, we are not so we are dying. That time you said, you all talk, Kenke, eh, two cities, tell me, ba, I'm going to talk, 50 percent. See, see, I told you, I told you, I told you, say, see, I told you, three cities, four cities. He urged Dr. Bamia to present his vision to Ghanaians as soon as possible for everyone to determine whether he had something new to offer or the same politics that he had been talking about but failed to deliver. Yes, we have to know your vision. We have to know what you are coming for. We have to know what you are vote voting for. So he said he further called on Dr. Bamia to make his vision for the nation known to Ghanaians as he intends to become president. Can you please tell us what vision you represent in the eight years that you were vice president? Can we know what that vision is? How far have you gone with achieving that vision? Or is it a Ghana card that you are still doing Ghana card, Ghana card, Ghana card? Because I don't understand. So he said, and if I ever met this man again, I will tell him in the face, you are a shameless block. Oh, oh sorry for my word. Sorry for my word. <laughs> How can you deceive Ghanaians all the way? My brother, my sister, right now and then, even children who have not been born know that this is the epitome of lies, said Black Rasta. So, you honor that he made a victorious in the MPP primaries and was formally 
announced as flag wearer of the party ahead of 2024 polls. So he's the one standing. Hey, already born yo. Mm, may I have nothing to say? Oh, at least you're hearing what people are saying. We need to know your vision. You need to come out and tell us this is my vision when I'm coming. Like when Akufado came, he said he's coming to do one district, one factory. <laughs> one district, one factory. And when Elevu came, this Baumia said he's not going to accept the pass of Elevi. <laughs> Move on to our next story. Then you understand what that is. Akufado supports Baumia because he's afraid of accountability. Yes, yeah, so he don't want us when he leaves the city to start asking for what he used this money for, what happened to this money, what happened to that money, he should make accounts and all that. Authority. He wants somebody that will put in power that him is when a person is in power, him now will be controlling that person. Sign our pen. You see, that is why they don't want Kennedy because they don't say if Kennedy come, you cannot control Kennedy. It is only about me you can control. So the director of legal affairs for the opposition National Democratic Congress NDC has expressed that President Nana Ado Danko Akufuado is afraid of accountability. And that is why he's extremely supporting Dr. Maudu Baumia to become Ghana next leader. The politician explained that President Akufuado has done a lot of things that call for persecution. Hence, he needs an ally to take over power in 2024 to avoid query. Even if he don't put the if Apple for the police, nobody's going to sue him. This is not America. We don't even we don't even know our rights. America, when Donald Trump leaves, they they, they go find oh and they sue him. See, you pay. It's not African here. We don't work with those things. So I could find free free, okay. Nobody will sue you. Oh, nobody will sue you. Nobody even get your time safe. All we just want is good leader and to make Ghana move forward. That's what we want. Yeah. In a reference to President Akufado's speech at the MPP flag wearer declaration ceremony that took place on 7 November edition of TV3 New Day that Dr. Baumia is that person who can cover up the scene of the president and that is why the former wants the vice president as president at all costs. President Nana Ado Danko Akufado on Saturday, November 4th, 2023, pledged to use all his strength to ensure the victory of Vice President Dr. Maudu Baumia in the upcoming 2024 general election. The president made his commitment at the Accra Sports Stadium, where Dr. Baumia was unveiled as the new Patriotic Party MPP presidential candidate. The last story, Nigerian Afrobeat star Rema is one of the biggest African artists right now in the world song come down africa is the african song of all time on a billboard hot 100 in the u.s the 23 year old appears to be reading the crest of an unstoppable wave of sources he is the latest in the string of african achievements including Bonner boys 2021 grammy award winning ck love wanting to becoming the most Song in the world in 2021. Jerusalem by Mr. K and Nzumbu inspiring millions of people around the world to post videos of themselves dancing during the COVID pandemic. Rayma, unlike some of his fellow Afrobeat artists, is always mindful of his in the journey of African music and has depth to those who have laid the groundwork and made it possible for him for this young man to have reached global storm so for example he's due to play london o2 arena on 14th november a venue with two of twenty thousand capacity just for wow just for four years into his career it took the like of whiskey and bonner boy to decide to achieve this so well, congratulations to him i don't want to talk plenty He's doing good, so congratulations to him and more grace and more everything and more everything. VP Musical Talent for the final show. It's here, 18th November, 2023. Don't miss out. I'll be there. Everybody will be there. Just come. The ticket is just 30 CDs. Just 30 CDs. They were gonna hard, 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 hard. We are still surviving. So, yes, buy your ticket, 30 CDs, and come. Let's have fun and let's enjoy. And let's bless other people. Yes. We are now coming to see the new whiskey, the new David, the new blah blah blah. So, yes, don't miss out. Come, TBP Music Talent. So, the ticket is out 30 cents. I love you guys. Have a blessed day. Bye bye.